a lot is happening on the sports scene the olympics is already going on in paris but the football is also taking its shape the preseason has started a lot of the clubs are involved in, in preseason matches chelsea arsenal united uh, man city ac milan barcelona will be playing a, a lot all the major clubs are involved in their preseason shipping up the players for the um, season ahead and the transfer window is also active a lot is going on the latest that is happening or the latest that's coming in is Vito Simen moving to Chelsea um the, the rumor is there and um what we know or what I know what I've got it particularly is that uh, the deal is likely to be alone but the agent of Vito Simen said this is a world-class striker this is a striker that has made his name in the Italian CRA or who has made his name for Napoli and if a club wants to purchase him he doesn't deserve a loan he deserves a permanent deal so we are looking forward if Chelsea is going to make that deal permanent because already we knew Vito Moses was on his uh, sorry I said Vito Moses um Vito Osimhen was on his way to um PSG but the turnaround is that Vito Osimhen is coming to Chelsea now we are looking at the Chelsea formation you are looking at the Chelsea uh, dynamic tactically how Enzo Maresca the new coach of Chelsea already that he has played two matches that he has lost one he has drew one he lost four one against Celtic just some weeks ago or some days ago how Vito Osimhen is going to be a, a crucial setup in that front row we, uh, Chelsea bought Jackson um, last season from Villarreal Jackson gave Chelsea about 50 goals in the league Jackson was very very wasteful that's it was very very not clinical in front of goals he wasted majority of the chances but in the personnel or in the strike mode of Vito Simen if it's 100 percent fit Vito Simen is more clinical he has been rated as one of the best when it comes to elite strikers in the top five major leagues in Europe and you, when you look at Vito Simen um, um technical ability in front of Chelsea with the likes of critters like Kopama who already gave Chelsea a 20 plus goal in the league let's look at the setup very well if Enzo Maresca is to set up and make uh Vito Simen his main target then I think Chelsea is 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 likely to compete or Chelsea looks very very formidable going into the league because already the club looks good that is Chelsea they look good they create a lot Chelsea do create a lot of chances but when you reach when they reach in front of goal they become very very um, um mute they are unable to utilize the chances that they create they become wasteful and i think we are critically looking at Vito Simen how he's going to um shoot in this Enzo Maresca new formation that he wants to build already you've seen the three back system that Enzo Maresca wants to build with Chelsea and how the likes of Kopama are going to be crucial in feeding Vito Simen the chances for him to at least get the goals for Chelsea for Chelsea to enter into the top four probably next season but I don't know what you guys make of the latest if it's to be rumored or if Vito Simen is to come to Chelsea. How is Vito, how is Vito Simen going to suit into the Chelsea setup? Is it the ideal kind of player for Chelsea? We've seen the likes of Didier Droba who has come to Chelsea from also from the African side to come and conquer the Premier League. We've seen um, Mohamed Salah from Egypt coming to Liverpool to also conquer the league. Both Vito Simen also from um africa uh, precisely nigeria also coming into the league especially the premier league to also establish his dominance like what he was doing in italy at england or in uk in the premier league Vito simon coming to chelsea will it happen or it won't happen we wait forward to see to hear the final confirmation but i don't know what you guys make of it is it a good deal for chelsea also a good deal for chelsea and now will it fit into enzo mariska system drop your comment in the comment session let's interact let's get more interactive and please do subscribe to this channel i'll come back your way with more updates